Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, today I'm going to go over the MetaTrader, um, uh, MetaTrader Expert Advisor that's been written for the Quant Analytics Service. Uh, today is the last day for the grandfather $63, uh, $67 a month. Um, today is Thursday, September 26th. Um, if you are interested in this service uh, before midnight my time, Eastern Standard Time, uh, I would strongly recommend you get in on this. So just come over to quantlabs.net slash trading. Come on down to the bottom and you'll get the orange button and click that to get uh, all signed up. So that's what I'm speaking about here. This is the MetaTrader 4 uh, expert advisor that I put up. So I'm just going to go over some of the videos. Um, over, uh, regarding this expert advisor, how to set it up. And it's really been designed for people that are not strong in technology, namely programming. Um, I like my Python, it's easy. I've worked with other languages like C, C++, Java. And uh, now that I've been using Python for the last, let's say two years, my life has been a lot easier. Um, but still, I think a lot of people still struggle with that language. So. I've done my market research, MetaTrader 4 is the, probably the most popular uh, trading platform out there for Forex trading at the retail level. So this uh, expert advisor was built. So in order for the transparency for the Quant Analytics service, what I've done is I made a page, a help page um, available for people to see and uh, go through to see how they feel about the technology of this, setting it up, and, and see if they're strong enough to handle it. So as I said, it's really meant for people that are not strong enough in setting up these things, uh, but namely, what it really involves are things for the like. Um, what it's namely is designed for is for the software to be installed. Uh, it involves um, purposely on Windows, where majority of people use, there's also um, Microsoft Outlook, uh, an add-in that you would use for uh, Outlook. On top of that, there would be um, a need for um, Python uh, script to be installed on your Windows uh, develop in Windows environment. So uh, I've always been a, um, a Linux and Mac fan. Um, I'm trying to wrap my head around Windows 10, but I've purposely put what you're about to see in these videos on Windows 7, uh, because I just don't think Windows 10 is really the best operating system at this point, but uh, we have no choice. Everything, the world's going to go to Windows 10 anyway, so that's where I'll end up. So let me just go through these videos. So this is the summary of all of these videos I'm about to tell you. First is, um, I've got a demo video on how this uh, video works or this whole setup works so this this video and this and again there's an audio version of this on the podcast so um, I'll be including all of the uh, videos and of names and you can easily get them over at the youtube.com slash quant labs page or sorry channel so that's a quant labs uh, channel on YouTube and uh, I, I purposely, every video I put up, and I've got quite a few, a few thousand in fact, uh, I've segregated them out into playlists. So right now I've been working on a MetaTrader playlist. So you should be able to find quite a few of those uh, videos I speak of in the MetaTrader, um, the MetaTrader playlist right here, MetaTrader 4 slash MT4 MQL4. So that gets updated uh, with these videos I'm showing you as an easy place to go. Or uh, if you want, just come over to my quantlabs.net slash blog here. Uh, and uh, all you need to do is just look for an article or post called MetaTrader for Expert Advisor Help Page. Pretty simple as that. So the first video to talk about is a new MetaTrader Expert Advisor EA for custom Forex trading. So this video will walk you through the setup um, here uh, in this other video I've got here called Demo of MetaTrader 4 Expert Advisor with Setup of Live Signal. So this video will walk you through the entire process with uh, Outlook, the add-in, um, 
that's not a free add-in with the Python script that I speak of and um, actually with the actual receiving of email signals from the quant analytics service and watching it uh, watching it play out within MetaTrader. So one thing I need to mention about the actual MetaTrader uh, for Expert Advisor is it's a little different from the quant analytics service because in the quant analytics service if there's a hot um, forex pair it will send out the uh, signal for it but it's the entry and I walk you through that process and what this will do is uh, the expert advisor will pick it up if everything's set up right with the outlook and the Python script um, it will the expert advisor will pick it up the entry and then from that point on it will handle all the exit logic for you so put the entry into the market with your Forex broker namely I'm using OANDA as a data of where these signals come from so I'm always telling people to always try to synchronize the orders to be made through OANDA as well to synchronize it and then the orders will then uh, the EA or the expert advisor will handle the exit logic for you and take care of the exit for you so you don't have to worry about the exit signals coming back from uh, the analytics service when you get the exit email on the analytics service so this video will walk you through that again that name is demo of MetaTrader 4 expert advisor with setup of live signal the next video is called the checklist to run forex signal with uh, mt4 ea python and ms outlook so in this video um, this is an actual checklist that you could go through to make sure you set up everything as recommended and again the combination of uh, software on your windows you will uh, have the um, metatrader ea python uh, metatrader 4 obviously the expert device that you can download from the analytics service uh, there's the Python script as well as the Microsoft Outlook as well as the add-in that's needed to process the uh, text for the Python script so there's that um, I've also I believe this webinar is probably over an hour um, so again this is a complete uh, webinar I've done with some folks um, and uh, as I highlight here that the two sources for both the crypto comes from Kraken and as I said there's just a report came out uh, earlier this week that said Kraken is the cleanest cryptocurrency exchange out there and especially it's out of the US and people have been asking why not coin coinbase um, I'm just finding there's more opportunities now with Kraken and with the latest edition of the chain link coin uh, in Kraken uh, there's really no unique advantages with Coinbase over uh, Kraken because Coinbase had Chainlink at that coin in Coinbase, but now Kraken has the same coin. So there's no really exclusive um, benefits of, of having Coinbase over Kraken. I just find there's, as I said, there's more opportunities with Kraken. And again, this is for uh, uh, cryptocurrency. The other thing I need to highlight with uh, the cryptocurrency just as a quick side note is that the crypto has no EA equivalent I provide some scripts Python scripts demos on my github that you can download and play with or hire a coder to, to fulfill the market um, entry once you get the entry signal on the crypto uh, again from the quant analytics service so we say the same thing about Forex um, and maybe down the line CFD if your country allows it and uh, again all that data for CFD and Forex comes from OANDA so here again I'm saying it twice now that you want to synchronize your data that the signals come from Kraken and OANDA if you're going to do the orders um, synchronize your orders with either Kraken for crypto or OANDA for the Forex so remember that and this walk through this 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 webinar will will go through that plus a whole lot more again that video is called live signal for forex and crypto currency webinar the next up is specific to the office outlook um, this video is called use use office outlook with add-in to trigger metatrader for forex entry so this specifically goes into detail as you can tell first version uh, 
of of this setup, um, and I'm, I have already provided better tutorials. But this is just documenting everything to, to, to see how it works, and it demonstrates the purposes of again the technologies that I'm using of Windows Outlook add-in with the MetaTrader and also this Python script. Mm. Okay, so now um, we we we've we've talked about the Outlook. We have talked about the add-in. Um, if you want to understand the script itself, uh, you can easily get that on my GitHub repository. Um, I'll put a link in here to, to know where to download that. Um, but here, there's complete source code walkthroughs of every single uh, script that I put up on that repository on my GitHub. This one, this walkthrough is specific for both crypto and the Forex, and again, that will work with the Outlook, the Add-in, plus MetaTrader. This is the glue between all of the setup, okay? So you may want to read, uh, uh, if you are a Python coder or understand uh, Python, you may want to go through that walkthrough, that source code walkthrough of how the Python script itself works. All right, so again, um, I already got the repository. So if you want to know where to get that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, file, that script file I'm speaking of. Um, this is the GitHub, as you can tell in the help page. Um, it does include the GitHub repository. So here is the uh, set of files, the algo trading signal with email. As I said, if you go into the description, there's corresponding YouTube videos of a code walkthrough for that file or for that script. The one that I'm using currently is this one. Uh, called Receive Signal Crypto FX2 Python. And again, there is a walkthrough of that, and it's specifically right here uh, in this video uh, here that I just talked about, right? This one. Again, it's called Python Source Code Walkthrough of Receive Crypto Forex Signals with MetaTrader for EA Setup. Okay, so there's that. Now, for those that um, are new to Python, I have included a video on how to install Python onto, in my case, Windows 7. Um, this will walk you through a variety of trial and error things that you may find, but towards the end of the video, it's a pretty quick um, install process because the Python folks at python.org have built now very easy ways to install Python with virtually, I won't say one click, but it's a lot easier than a few years ago. And um, again, uh, this this will walk you through it. One thing I need to highlight here is depending upon what operating system you're running, e, for example, Windows 10 or Windows 7, Windows 7 is a 32-bit operating system, so you need to ensure you understand what version of um, Python you need. And again, I think this video will include that. Again, the video name is called How to Install Python onto Windows 7. Moving down, um, I've included some utilities. This one's kind of important. I'm sure I'll add in more utilities and videos into this help page as time passes. But one that I felt that was pretty important is um, if you are going to get really serious with this signaling, also having it run through your MetaTrader, you're virtually going to have to have your MetaTrader system run. And as I said, it's probably best to have a dedicated system for MetaTrader, Microsoft Outlook, as well as a Python script and have nothing else installed on that system. Um, even if you were to go to Windows 7, it's good that that setup exists. If you're tight on cash, you can always buy a used uh, Windows box with maybe Windows 7 uh, for like 100, 150 bucks. On top of that, I went through this. Plus, you can get um, a Windows 7 license. And again, this is 20, 2019 and September 26, 2019. Up until July, there is still some support for Windows 7. Um, but I was able to get a license for Windows 7 for like 25 bucks from the Microsoft site. Um, so do understand that even if you're paying on cash and then you can get the office suite for like a hundred bucks or 70 bucks or something like that for each year. 
and I am using Office 365 version of Outlook. So again, where this leads to is if you follow those recommendations, what you can do is if you put um, your or set everything up as, as I recommend with my uh, with Outlook running, uh, what you will be doing is obviously keeping that system on when the markets are on. And when I say markets, again, I'm Eastern Standard Time in North America. So that means same time as New York. Uh, you'll want to start up your system around 5 p.m. on a Sunday. And usually the markets for the Forex will and should die off in late Friday afternoon around 5 o'clock. But I have seen brokers still sending out signals, specifically Oanda, up until 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock Friday night. So do understand you're virtually going to keep this system on all the time, not to shut it off. So what can happen if you ever decide to shut uh, off your computer, what can happen is um, if you allow the analytic service it will keep sending the signals to your inbox of your dedicated um, of your dedicated email. So what will happen is if you turn off your system or at least kill the the Outlook, next time you uh, restart it, it will then all of a sudden get maybe 50, 100, or 100 plus emails into your inbox. So what you need to do is to clear out your inbox. So before you run your Outlook, what is strongly recommended to make sure you don't overwhelm your Outlook and then throw off all your signals and all that because they're old and irrelevant. I've written this utility which will delete all of the email in that inbox with Python using IMAP. So I've got a utility there um, called Clear uh, Mail and that will uh, remove all your in inbox email and then you can proceed to run your Outlook and your add-in and your Python and then continue on with MetaTrader. So that's just something that I found really useful. So again, that will be available on my GitHub uh, repository. And again, that file is called clearmail.python. And here you'll get the source code walkthrough on that. So that's pretty well the summary of everything. Hopefully this will help you out and we shall uh, talk to you later. Again, if you're interested, today's the last day for the grandfather deep to up, the grandfather price. Uh, prices won't go this low, and you'll find it again here at quantlabs.net slash trading at get started now. Okay, on that little orange button at the bottom. Other than that, we shall talk to you later.